Hello everyone and welcome to another video of my channel. In this video I'm gonna talk about radio button and radio group. So let's jump into the code. For this I build a new application and I call it radio button example. Here into the activity underscore main I have a text view I'm gonna delete it and I'm gonna add a radio button here. Exactly. Okay, uh, radio button one and the text could be radio button one as well. Okay, let's see it on the emulator. radio button one and there is no function for this let's go to main activity.kt first of all i should uh, initialize the radio button so i need a value i'm gonna call it rdb1 short for radio button equals to find view by id the type of is uh, the type of it is a radio button and the id of it is r dot id dot radio button one now i'm gonna check uh, if uh, the radio button is checked or not and i'm gonna add a toast uh, to show us it checked so rdb1 dot set on check change listener okay here I have a boolean uh, named is checked. So whenever uh, somebody is checking the radio button, the value of this boolean will be true. I'm gonna use this. If is checked, that means if the value of this boolean is true, do this for me. Show a toast for me if you don't know how to use the toast i have a great video about the toast in my channel i'm gonna put the link of this video on top right corner of the screen and you can click on it and watch it rdb1 checked okay now I'm gonna check it again on emulator by checking the toast will appear okay now I cannot uncheck it, so if I want to test it again, I have to uh, reinstall the application and again RDB1 is checked. Okay, so let's go back to the layout and I'm gonna add another one here to show you something. Then I'm gonna call it the uh, uh, radio button number two and the name of it the text of it will be radio button 2 again and uh, i'm gonna connect it to the first one let's go back i should initialize it i'm gonna copy the first radio button data and uh, just change the names okay 
and I'm gonna copy this and paste it here for the second one as well and again I'm gonna change the names and here as well the second one okay now let's check it now i have two radio buttons whenever i'm checking the first one the radio button one is checked and for the second one the radio button two is checked as you see both of them are checked and i cannot uncheck any of them if i want to uh, make a condition that at the same time uh, the user be able to click and choose only one of them I should use a uh, radio group okay uh, let's go to activity underscore main and here I have the radio group so I'm gonna drag and drop it here and uh, the idea of it can be radio underscore group and I'm gonna connect it to the other radio buttons okay i'm not gonna delete the first two radio buttons because uh, i'm gonna keep the whole codes uh, and put them into the github uh, for you as a source uh, so i'm gonna add uh, two radio buttons uh, into the radio group here and uh, let's do it through the codes and you can see how we can do this so I have a radio group here and uh, I need a tag I can write uh, radio group and between these two tags I can add my radio buttons I'm gonna copy one of these radio buttons and paste it here and again I'm gonna paste it here and now I'm gonna change the names and the IDs so it will be radio button number three and the text can be radio button number three as well and here number four and number four let's go back to uh, design uh, it doesn't look good so I think okay I'm gonna delete this line and this line and it will be okay okay I have two radio buttons here number three and number four now uh, let's go back to the codes first of all I should uh, initialize the radio group as well I'm gonna call it RDGP equals to find view by ID the type of it is a radio group and R dot ID dot radio group 2 now I'm gonna use the same function for this rdgp uh, dot set on check change listener but I'm gonna choose this one the second one uh, group and checked ID because I want to know which uh, radio button out of the whole group is checked then uh, I can write if the
checked id equals to r dot id dot radio group number three show me a toast and i'm gonna copy one of these toasts but i should change the name radio button 3 is checked and again i'm gonna copy and paste this line with changing radio button 4 and here as well radio button 4 so simply uh, this uh, function will check the id of the radio button that is checked and will compare it with to the uh, ids here and if it was equal to this id it will show this toast and if it was equal to this id uh, it will display this one the second toast let's check it okay i have radio button number three and four here and radio button number three is checked and by pressing number four radio button number four is checked and at the same time the first one will be automatically unchecked again i'm gonna do it and for multiple times i can do this but for these two that's where two single radio buttons uh, we couldn't do it like automatically and at the same time both of them are checked okay that was everything for this video if you find any value please remember to give me a thumbs up and like the video and share the video with your friends if you have any question write down in the comment box below and i will be so happy to answer to your questions please remember to subscribe the channel if you are new in my channel thank you have a good day and see you in next video bye bye